can actually look at that and you can rotate and go zoom and zoom in and out. You know what I mean? I think 30% of the pilings are missing. Oh, okay, really and the other 70% are really in bad shape. So what are you going to do with the, with the strategy? Is the city going to give you the permitting that you need to do, putting the pilings in the building? Well, what that? was interesting, and I give the city credit, the city actually warned me prior to taking down this building to make sure that we were grandfathered in. Otherwise, I'd have to go for a state appeal. I'm okay with the city, but was I okay with the state? And I appreciated the city alerting me to that, you know. And you were okay with the state? And we checked out with the state. They said we're grandfathered in because almost everything about these buildings aren't, you aren't allowed to do that anymore. You're, right. you're not allowed to have that. You know, I don't even understand it all. So the good news is we're, we're grandfathered back in. Oh, that's What's interesting good. about the pilings, a lot of them are on the ledge which means I think they're just going to fall over. Yeah. The ones that are in the water, we don't want to pull out because if there are contaminants that are soaked down, when you pull them out, you release them. So we'll actually see if we can put a collar around them and pour concrete, you know what I mean? Oh. And actually create new pilings out of old pilings. I mean, because what's interesting from my perspective, and, and you know, it's all about the money, but what I would like to do is quite quickly put the pad back. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because mm -hmm. then I've got access to the other building. Yes. Then I can just walk over there. So any work I need to do on that building, I can do right. with the pad. We are going to try to raise this building up a couple of feet. Because right now, as you can tell, oh, yeah. it's, a, it's not only in the flood zone, but it's, it's flooding. You know? yeah, and I think high tide so, is not even yet. So. so what is your plan? Is there going to be any structural changes to the building? Not, not so much as architecturally, but are you going to put in glass floors to be able to use Absolutely. It. I mean, I remember you told us that. You know, what's interesting for me, and I, I know I've said it, but I like to say it again, I want the outside to look the same. Yep. You know what I mean? Now, I have to tell you, I may put in some of these windows, but there were windows here. Yep. You know, you can see mm -hmm. where the yeah. windows mm -hmm. were. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you can't give me a hard time about putting a window where there was a window, but, but outside will be the same. But I actually think my bigger challenge, and I'll tell you what, Go, Joe Garland said this. Joe Garland said, you know, what you do inside the buildings is as important as what you do outside the mm -hmm. buildings. Do you know what I mean? Yep. How we make that work. And everything costs more money, but I'd like to make it as exciting as I could. So, so do you have documentation around the building and the way it was in the past? Or? Absolutely. We have thousands of photographs. I mentioned in my last article, I can show you on my computer, we had the building's laser measured. So they came in with a laser beam and they measured everything. I know how high sills are and how high windows are, and you know. That's fabulous. I mean, we know more about these buildings than I think anyone has ever known. That's great. And it's been fun. It's been being a good scientist is like being a detective. So looking after these buildings has been like being a detective. Well, I know since the don't sneeze. <laughs> you guys are gonna push it over. What the hell? Don't sneeze. <laughs> so what's your plan to timeline from? from demolition well, to I, I think Well, it really is. I hate to say it, it's back to money. Yeah, you know, the, the sooner I can raise it, we're ready to go. I mean, we just need the money. We really do. And what so, I'm so trying to do is break each component yeah, up into Thank like you. a manageable, oh, into a manageable thing. So like, for example, I'm guessing, but to maybe to put the pad back in, to put new pilings, maybe that's 50 grand. So I can say to someone, if you give me 50 grand, I'll put the pad in, I'll put the pilings in. I'm not saying to people, I need 10 million, give me 50 grand, and then it gets lost. Because that way, you give me money, you can see what you spent it on, you know? No. Yep. Yeah. Are you partnering with any nonprofit organizations from an education perspective? Absolutely. Well, I mean, that's why we're called Ocean Alliance. I mean, I've been working with um, Jeffrey Rashawn and, and the Maritime Heritage Center, okay. uh, what's called Maritime Gloucester now, since the beginning. But we partner with groups all over the world, including Scripps, including Woods Hole. We work with the University of Utah. University of Southern Maine, they just went by in a small boat that yep. we lent them today. So that, we, you know, what I try to do is not reinvent the wheel, wheel, but I find somebody who has reinvented the wheel and then we work with them. So you're creating partnerships. That's right. Yeah, that's fabulous. Well, I mean, you know, again, it's, I mean, I don't know, but, you know, let's say we're going to fix up your house. I'm a boat captain, so I'm probably a better plumber than you are. Right. So I'll do the plumbing, you do the wiring, right. you know? Why, why should you, you right. know? You know? Well, this is an exciting project. I'm excited. I, I think I'm a lucky guy. I mean, I yeah. really do. I think We're lucky to have you. I think well, the community should be excited to, to have this. I understand that people are scared. Yeah, I understand that people are scared, but, you know, and I understand that I can just say anything. I mean, words on one level mean nothing, but you guys have seen some of the actions today that other people haven't mm -hmm. seen. You know? Well, we I came over that Saturday you had it open. Right. 
fascinating. Yeah. No, I mean, I, you know, the you, funny thing is, I know I keep saying this, it's a tough economy, but it's only money. Right. You know what I mean? Yes. I don't have all of the zoning and all these other weird permits that everyone has. Everybody seems to be on our side. The town, the state, you know, EPA, everybody likes what we're doing. So yep. it's really just a, just, you know, I've just, I got to raise some money. But there's a big change since the first time I saw the inside. Yeah, the well, inside. Thank you. Yeah, yeah I, so much work has been done on well, the inside. There are huge tanks in there and vats, and you know, and they're all gone. The, and I tell you, I've already contracted that building the brick buildings in the next month, they're all going to be cleaned on the inside with ice blasting again. All that brick will look like the brick outside. By the end of this year, it's going to be pretty stunning inside. What am I popular today? Uh, Excuse me. Oh. Jeez. Might as well be. Picking up stuff while I'm here, right? I still have one over here. I would love to stuff. <laughs> asbestos, uh, the asbestos, the drywall, the insulation, and that means that the wood that's taken out can be sent to a recycling plant and we get what's called a lead credit. So we actually get a lead credit for recycling wood properly and then we actually will have a lot of these horizontal floor joists, so like 25 foot long. I'm hoping we can save 80% of them. You could plank the whole interior of the new building with just the wood from the floor joists. So what, can you explain what LEED credit means? What LEED well, is? LEED certified, it's just, believe it or not, building buildings create something like huge amounts of globe, you know, greenhouse gases, you know, an awful lot. Building buildings, generally speaking, is not environmentally friendly. So they developed this certification program called LEED, L-E-E-D. You can look it up online. I can't remember what the acronym is, but if it's LEED certified, that means you did the best you could to building it in an environmentally way, and if you have to take things down, dismantling it as an environmentally way. So I'm really trying to talk the talk and, and walk the walk, you know? So what you're accomplishing here is restoring the building as best you possibly can to, to replicate the history that has been here. You're removing the toxins. That's right. You're following lead Certi guidelines and certifications, right. and, and whatever you take down, the intent is to rebuild 
to replicate it architecturally. Exactly. So and, what, and whatever wood we can save, we will save. I mean, with the price of wood nowadays, I'd be crazy not to. So you're also recycling the products that you can. Exactly. The ones that I can. I mean, if, it, if it's polluted with asbestos or, or lead or mercury or chromium, I can't use it. But yeah, I mean, if you think how expensive wood is, I mean, it's just common sense, really. It's a little bit more work and it's costing me a little bit more money in the short term, but I think in the long term, it'll be better, you know, across the board. That's great. It sounds like it's a great effort. Well, well I'm, you, I'm going to be out there with a the hammer later. I'm ready. <laughs> How are you? Uh, thank building you. E down there. It's almost done. But if you go down to building E, we've mimicked the trim that we found in building C, and we're putting copper in, copper flashing and stuff, because that's how they would have done it, you know, in 1861. 1861. That's amazing. That's amazing. Industrial buildings, you know. And what we are, the feel that we're going to have inside the building, the finish of the interior building is going to try to be industrial. I don't want like lawyer or fancy offices, I want a real industrial feel, you know. To replicate what it was. To replicate what it was. Yeah, I want you to go in there and feel like you're in a factory, not feel like you're in a corporate office, you know. So o Ocean Alliance is environmentally friendly, Yep. restoring a building back to its best capabilities to the, to replicate what it was in the past. Correct. Preserve community interests in the buildings exactly. and, and the services. And, and access. And access. And become part of the educational system to, to the young and the youth and the community yep. members. And, and then how's your industry, how's your business here in this community? That's right, that's right. No, I mean, it, it, I think it's, I'm biased because this is why we've spent millions of dollars, but I think it's a win-win. I think it's a win-win for us. But I really think it'll be a win-win for the community. And I you're also a good neighbor. Well, I don't know about that yet. We'll have well, to see. Well, time will tell neighbor. about that. I think we'll, you're a good we'll neighbor. It's about progression, right? That's it's right. about moving forward. Well, and I, I like to think we're, we're, you know, we're a little proactive. You know, we don't react. We like to think about what the potential, what the opportunities are. Okay. You're right. It's a win-win. Yeah. Thank you.